the believer laying hands, then the power of the Holy Spirit's present to bring power into the sick so that they can recover. Right? Now, this should happen instantly. Right? Should. Even though technically the word recover generally means gradually. Alright? Now, just since we're on this, let's go with this. There's a difference, generally speaking, and again, you can't always tell it by the terminology used, but there's a difference between healing and miracles. Even miracles of healing. Okay? Now, if I am if I am running or walking, I am in the process of walk or the process of run, right? Run, anytime you add ing, if, it means the people are in the process of doing it. Okay, IED means has done, all right? If a per, or let's say, if a person is crying, then the, right now they're doing it. But if they have cried, then that's past tense, right? So it's previous tense. Now, but notice it's ing. So ing means what? Present tense, right? So healing would be present tense, all right? Now, but it means in the process, right? Right now it's in the process. Proce it does not mean completed, right? It he, completed would have been what? Healed. healed. Okay, good. So we got healed, which means it's done. We've got healing, which means it's in the process. Right? <clears throat> now, miracles of healing. Healing means a process. It can be a period of time. Recover also usually means a period of time. Miracles of healing is a terminology used, but it usually means instant. Okay? Now, the terminology is miracles of healing. Really not used in the Bible, per se. Okay? In the Bible, and we're not even promised a gift of miracles. There's no gift of miracles. There's a gift of the working of miracles. Okay? The working of miracles. Now, that means that something has to be done to work the miracle. It doesn't just happen, right? It has to, there's a working of miracles. So if you have a gift of miracles, that means miracles just happen. It's the gift of the working of miracles, which means you're going to be involved. It means if a person's in a wheelchair, you're going to have to lift them out, pull them out. That can be the working of miracles. Now, just a gifts in 1 Corinthians 12, it does not talk about gift of healings, it talks, or gift of healing. It talks about gifts, plural, of Healings. Plural. Okay? Dr. Summerall is one of the people, but there's, there's all kinds. And I try not to get into what people say, but the various camps will say, uh, and Dr. Summerall was one of those camps of healing, that says that there are possibly as many gifts of healings as there are sicknesses, diseases. That's one idea, right? So in other words, there would be one gift of, for cancer, one for leukemia, one for blah, 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 blah. Right? Right on down the line. Now, the Greek grammar would tend to lead us in a different direction. Right? It would tend to make, it look at it, or make us look at this as that there are gifts, not as like, okay, uh, here's five dollars. That's a gift. Okay, I've got five dollars, I give it to you, you pass it to them, and we can give it to them, and okay, now once it leaves your hand, you don't have it anymore, it's over there, right? So that would be a gift, and it's a thing in a place. Many people look at that, okay, if there are gifts of healing, then there is a thing, there is a gift for that disease. Now, however, it could be, and uh, again, you just have to check out the Greek and go, because it's not conclusive, to be honest with you. But it could be that each of these gifts of healings that are given to the person to profit with all is, means it, 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 the gifts themselves are the healings themselves, not a gift of healing, but the healing. In other words, it's like, here you go, you're healed, right? Not a gift that you just walk around touching people and they're healed, but you lay hands and when they're healed, that was a gift of healing to that person, right? Through, through you, basically.